All right, welcome everyone to Resemblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Dr. Dr. Stone, Stone, Season 3, three episode, episode 1. one. It's yeah. good to be back. Yeah, it's time to be back. <gasps> mm-hmm. And and apparently, like, perfect timing, because there's going to be a second half that's mm-hmm. going to be coming and right about the time. It's going to line this. up right with the... Uh, yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So, y'all... Perfectly planned. Y'all... Yeah, we do sometimes plan ahead, kind (laughs) of. Definitely. But uh, Dr. Stone is one of those anime that's always fun to come back to. Oh, yeah. Because it's got this energy, this zest to it, this this spice, this desire to just get excited about life. Indeed. And, all right, we've got Ryusui in the crew. Mm -hmm. He's helping them uh, get things ready so that they can cross the Pacific Ocean. That's right. That's no big deal. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You definitely need someone with a maxed out sailing stat for that. Mm -hmm. And if they happen to be an aspiring oil baron as well, then, you know. You know, it helps as well. Yeah, that's right, you know. And we could always use some of those uh, fossil fuels for... uh, our expedition and stuff. That's right. Uh, yep. But, but uh, given that, you know, we have peace mm-hmm. and, you know... And money. Gonna, and money, that that is true. You know, we could see the golden age of... Mm, uh, of this centers, stone age. Of this stone age, exactly. Yeah. Right, right. Mm-hmm. And see things uh, just move along really quickly. I can and, see that. You know, we are headed to that strange, you know, light source where things started. Mm-hmm. But in order to get there, we have to... Right. And so now moving. now the question is, Is are we going to see the actual voyage this season, or is it going to be the, okay, now we build the ship? I mean, to this is going to be a two-part to season, so yes, we are definitely yeah. seeing the voyage this season. And then is the voyage going to be a whole arc in and of itself as they deal with all the issues of, uh, we're crossing the Pacific Ocean. And then it's you like, know. no, this is not Berserk. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. <laughs> all right. We're back. Hmm. Okay, Greed. <laughs> no, we're going to be leaving this village soon. So. Yeah, you won't be able to take all of it with you. Nice. I like that they're bringing up the idea that this world is already semi-populated. Hmm. Just to remind us that sure. yes, some people got out of this whole thing. <laughs> yep. That moment that changed mm-hmm. everything. Yep. <laughs> Which came first, the revival Random chance. Or the fluid. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay. Bringing you in. You're one of the main characters now. It's a nice way to be able to have, like, recap, since he's... Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Absolutely. (laughs) God, I forgot how over the top the voice acting is. Mm -hmm. So good. All right. Awesome. (laughs) Just carrying it by himself. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, but I'm not going. (laughs) Yes. It's getting you excited, Kasuki, isn't it? Uh Uh-huh. It really has been, like, two whole seasons of assembling goofballs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay, a little bit more recap. Yep, yep. Yep. Just in case you didn't see the uh, OVA. All right, Churchill, calm down. Ugh! <laughs> 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 Yes. I'm greedy. Exactly. Yep. All right. Okay. Oh, yeah, new OP. Yeah, this is new OP. Oh. Whoa, this is like taking me back to a different era. Oh. 
Yeah, wait. I like it. Oh, but is it just me, or does this feel like an anime song from like the 2000s? Yeah. Oh God, I forgot about that guy. See, now we can actually have oh. another Awaken My Masters moment with Tsukasa. Oh, here we go! Oh, all right, new characters. One, two. Okay. Oh, shit. Are we going to the Bratier? <laughs> guy looked like a cook. Well, or maybe, you know. Oh my god! Someone else randomly woke up and then established themselves, like, eventually, you know, as descendants passed on and stuff, someone established themselves as, like, a god yeah. king. Oh shit, oh, wait. Oh, baby. Oh shit. Oh, baby, whoa. Yeah, because it's been so long, you could get people of vastly different, like, like, technology levels. Right, but that might be one of the things that they establish uh, rather quickly is. What if we get communication across, you know, vast distances? Sure. Let's build the new map. Ah! <laughs> uh, yes, hail the triumphant victors. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Yeah, nothing came our way. You're a sailor. Get yeah, used yeah. to it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm motivated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Senku's like, yes, go. Go. Move. <laughs> She's just hanging on with one hand. Oh my god. Lioness. Yeah, much <laughs> better. Mr. <than> Lion. <laughs> uh, that's, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, it's a great one. Yeah. Lionesses are badass. There's the ones that get shit oh, done. Oh, right. She's the ice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yep, cell phones! Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, so they know specifically right. where they're looking, but but in order to do that, they need to know where... <laughs> oh, cool. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Yes! Please tell me that it was like this in the manga as well. Holy shit. This is amazing. <laughs> and and maybe craft some things from those mines. Oh yeah. Uh, oh. We can eat them. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yoink. Nice. And have the the meat like pop out. <laughs> nice. That topographical map. Cool. But why is everything drawn in blocks? Huh? I love that he's talking like this with food in his mouth. He has to have all the One Piece references. Yeah. You'd be grateful for that fish food you had. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. That shut him up. It had a splitting, remember? Hmm. All that malnourishment is why Kohaku's so weak. <laughs> In some yeah. ways, yeah. Propagate your genetic code. Ah. <laughs> so I don't care. Hmm. <laughs> oh, he calls them beautiful women when they're not around. Yeah. <laughs> 
Gen is now our just Gen is our best our best tool now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> seaweed. Yeah, yeah. I think they've already grabbed seaweed before. So. Oh, whoa. Okay. Ah. Nice. Yep. Wheat, yep. Okay. <laughs> but if the ground's already prepared for it... Sure, that too. We can, you know, extend it out from here. It'll be really natural to have it grow. Mm -hmm. The only awkwardness is transportation. Right. And just immediately bread. <laughs> I mean, it definitely would have taken back the seeds yep. to... Mm-hmm. Oh, that's their imagination. Mm. Right, right, yeah. Bread is not... Bread is not the ultimate preserved food, but... <laughs> nice, nice. Brioche! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because since he knows about... A <laughs> Yeah, we don't need bougie stuff like that. We need hard tack. Yeah. And even that doesn't last that long. Like. Yep, and irrigation and everything. Yeah. <sighs> yes, yeah, it's kind of crazy to think they have an actual, like, kingdom with so many people. Like, it's mm -hmm. actually this much. Oh. Yeah, and their village keeps growing in number with this, yeah. No, they're, they cost resources. Yeah. Yeah. That's food. Mm-hmm. It's a bit cold, but it's... it's yeah. They're being preserved in a lot of ways. Well, and also, like, that way you can, you know, more time goes on, the better things get. <laughs> You're on Mother Lioness's charity! That's right! Ah. Yep, go, Taiju, go. <laughs> They're already tired. Taiju's just like, oh! <laughs> wow. Wow, that's... What will happen now? No, many people are going to be motivated by that. Yep, yep! Oh my god! <laughs> Love it. Eat your heart out, Vinland Saga Season 2. <laughs> Taiju's still fucking going. He doesn't sleep. Yep, we're actually gonna see his limits pretty soon. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, he knows why. Yep. Mm -hmm. So if I can help bring others back to life. Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm helping my future wife! Yes! Oh! That's right, Teju! This is just a gigantic cast of shonen protagonists all exactly. working together, you yep. know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're all, like, leaders of their own respective anime, like, uh -huh. basically. Yep. Oh, yeah. First bit grows quick, but be careful and take care of it. It's fragile now. <laughs> yeah, fertilizer. Ah. Good stuff. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, what is this? Ooh, okay. It's acidic, okay. Yours is more uh, base or alkaline. Uh huh. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I love the Minecraft stuff yeah, so it's, much. Yeah, it's fantastic. Agriculture acquired! Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so proud! Yes, you'll be our farming leader! Yeah. It ain't much, but it's honest work. It's honest work. work. Yeah. It ain't much, but it's Taiju work. Yeah. That's right. Yep, that's true right there. <laughs> Don't land in the wheat. <laughs> Food King. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, he has his straw hat. Yeah, I just made yeah, the connection. Just made the connection, yeah. yeah. Don't worry, the red band will get put on it when they get on the boat. Yeah, know? exactly. Get excited, yeah, yeah. There's the line, yeah. All right. That was great. Oh, hmm? little end credit scene. Ah, uh, now they make bread. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hard tack. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's exactly what we're gonna make. Oh my god. <laughs> they have no idea yeah. what it's supposed to be like. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh -huh. See, they need they need a chef. They need to get the guy from yep. Food Wars and revive him. <laughs> who can cook? Who can cook? And this is why it was so important for Luffy. Yeah. <laughs> they uh -huh. said in harmony. I mean, no, that is, uh, yeah. Like that Perfect. really would help your society a lot. All right, we're back. Season wow. three has given us a lot more energy. Yes. It's given us the multi-pronged power mm -hmm. of the kingdom of science and that they can delegate like three or four people to individual projects all oh, yeah. at the same time. Like mm -hmm. tons of different groups all working on certain things, seeing incremental progress. Yep. God, it's like we're playing like a Civ game or oh, something yeah. right now. And, and... And then we actually had fucking Minecraft. Yeah, we had Minecraft, which is <laughs> just fantastic. And every time, I I gotta say, one of my favorite jokes in this show has got to be every single time that Gen does his, like, mind games. Yeah, he's like, to, oh, wouldn't it be a thing if yeah. uh, we had someone just else lead manipulate us? manipulate people to, yeah. like, you know, want to do, you know, the stuff that they need them he's to do. He's literally the bard. Yeah. He's literally the bard of this Congratulations, group. John. He made them think, think it was, was their, their idea, idea, you know? Yep. Like, I, <laughs> I just love that so much. And now we're gonna get to see, yes, actual good food be made mm -hmm. because Senku might be a man of science, but he is not a man of the kitchen. Right, and right? even the ramen back in season one, mm -hmm. it was so good for the people of the stone world, yep. but it was not that good for the people there. When he went to painstaking detail to get as yeah. many of the ingredients oh, yeah. right as possible, mm -hmm. Same kind of thing with the, the, the Coke, mm -hmm. I believe, you know, and- Well, the Coke was actually, I think it was actually pretty, pretty yeah. decent. It, it was the things where he had to combine multiple ingredients. Right. Like for like a full meal. But now, thing. now as far as like if you're talking making ramen, they've got wheat. they got wheat. They can make they can real make noodles. proper noodles now. Proper yeah. noodles. Holy mm -hmm. shit. Like, and yeah, so, so reviving a chef, absolutely. Is it utilitarian? Yes. Maybe. Maybe. But, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like I, or, or this is the other thing that mm. could be really cool. We just go around and be like, hey, who of our modern crew had a hobby for cooking? There sure. might be one that's just been chilling in the background, just not See, actually, you know, doing anything with it. Here's what I want to have happen. Mm -hmm. I want it to be something where we find out that there was actually a crossover event between the Food Wars manga and... And Dr. Stone. And, and even if it's not, like, exactly the character, right? It's... it's Definitely a reference, you know? Sure. Right. If we go for the kind of the interpretation that Dr. Stone is basically a world of a bunch of 
shonen like, protagonists that yeah. are all going to get together and mm-hmm. stuff. That have their skill. They have know. their skill maxed out, exactly. Yep. Then, yeah, I, I could absolutely see Food Wars we, could. We get whatever some, his name you know, is. some some red-haired boy with, but but slap some eyebrows on him, you know. Mm. Yeah. And then there we go. That or we're about to have a new best girl. Uh, that is possible. That you is know, possible. Right? Like, I could also see this just being something that an adult does as well. Because if sure. it's a professional chef, well, I'm sorry, your no, professional chefs are not going to be. No, 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 no. See, that logic would apply to Ryusui as well. But. But, but let me hope, no. man. Come on, Kasuki is in this show, no, man. Okay. Hey, Kasuki is the master hey, craftsman. He hey. might as well be their only real cook, you know? I want Dami Mommy Master Chef too, but. But, 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 but. No, it's actually just Gordon Ramsay. No, it's not. <laughs> but you fucking donkey, you know, get the lamb sauce, you know? No, 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 no. <laughs> I want, I want big, thick Italian woman. Mm. Like, yeah. Like, just yes. coming here and yes. being like, I'm gonna get to you some food. I'm gonna right. get you some food, and then we'll cook you a meal. Like, like yes, yes. Yeah, they're like, okay, so we're in Japan. We're not actually gonna go to South America. We're gonna go to Italy. <laughs> Specifically to pick up a chef. I see. I think. I think it's very possible. Mm-hmm. That all they do is do some interviews in general of like all the people that are there and be yep. like, "Hey, do any of you like recognize any of the people here as being like connected to you?" We had one person that recognized their their father, mm-hmm. you know, and it's like, "Oh yeah, that that's sweet." And be like, "Hey, you know, those of you that you know are from the modern world, do you remember like you know what their." Um, you know, career was and stuff sure. like that, and you could end up then going on an expedition just to find a, yeah. a chef, or and the, you and you get you know Mr. Ryusui McGreed to go and be like, all right, this is their look, draw them out, mm-hmm. find them, and he yep. just, blah, 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 and just, just oh absolutely just, just and, runs and I mean, his ass all over Japan, well, and especially with Kohaku doing the whole hang from the you know God, from, I love from the that. hot air eleven point oh vision, yeah, like that that was. That was so funny. I, I basically l- telescopes for eyes. <laughs> yeah, I I love the joke of the maxed out stat for every individual character. Mm-hmm. But then, when it comes right down to it, the show kind of treats us like we totally forgot that they have those maxed out stats. Mm-hmm. So while this episode was effectively like a, hey, we're going to be like showing all these characters doing their individual things. It's also a like, did you forget? Taiju has stamina, and it's like, yeah, yeah. no, no, we remember, yeah. but the anime takes itself like so, like, no, we're gonna show so you, home. and oh, then yeah. it's like, oh, yeah. I get all excited all, all yep. over again. Yep, it's like, fun. It, I absolutely love this. Like, I feel like this, this show is a fantastic example for like the okay, person has an idea for a story, and mm-hmm. they're like, I wanna do like a story about like science and like inventing things and just the wonders of like the natural world. Awesome, okay, you need a gimmick. You okay. need a delivery medium, otherwise people are gonna get bored. All right, Um, survival thing, cool. And be- that's because uh, it's a post-apocalyptic thing. Sure, awesome. Now, the thing is, you need them to have superpowers. What, but I'm not wanting to write a, no, no, no. They need Trust superpowers me. of some kind, all right? Okay, I'll make them all be like insanely good at their one thing. Perfect. There That's you a go. Superpower, you yeah. know? Yeah. And then I need you also to give them like that really determinator, like high level energy exactly. that will make them really passionate about their thing. It's like, but yeah. won't that lead them into like conflicts with each other? Right. No, 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 no. Because we're gonna be civilization building, not just surviving. Right. It's like but Oh okay, I, I'm okay. not trying to build a battle shonen. No, 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 no. Anything can be a battle shonen if you try hard enough. You know? It's oh just, hey, here's a way just, I can make it work. It's just, you know, PvE. Mm-hmm. PvE that's content. Right. You don't have to have it be PvP. Yeah, that's just, right. Just, just go against the environment. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah. It's a post-apocalyptic world. Band together with the power of friendship and science. Yeah. yeah. Drill through to tomorrow. Mm-hmm. You know, or to furrow, oral. furrow through to tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's right. All right. But yeah, food, uh, food, agricultural mm-hmm. uh, side of things accomplished. Actually, refining the food into making it palatable for everybody. And- well, for the uh, people of the modern world, the idea yeah. that the people of the stone world are just like, ah, oh, this is interesting. You know? I love the idea that fucking Ukiyo is like, you know, I was told in training that there are people with like palates of a certain level that will just starve to death because right. they won't be willing to eat shitty food. <laughs> like, uh, that's so dark. Yeah, but I but find that so funny. I, I like, absolutely buy it because it would probably start as just the, no, 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 I can find something better. 
right? <laughs> but then they end up malnourished and everything, and then they can't actually, like... They can't lur- look yeah. for the food properly because right. they're now mm-hmm. feeling the effects of that there. Yep. I, I definitely think that, for me personally, my my problem specifically would be eating rotten food. Like, mm. like I could probably eat uh, dirty food and or gross food, no issue. But the idea of eating rotten food specifically... Yeah, I... I would probably starve to death, yeah. I, I feel like the rotten food could be an issue for me, but yeah, for the most part, I think... <laughs> eating Have you ever accidentally bit into something that was moldy? Uh, I've realized afterwards that something was moldy. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been into it! You had mold in your mouth or like, next to it! Mm, and you're like, odd. this tastes a bit odd, but eh. And you kept going? And then I realized, I look at like the bread loaf and it's like there's mold <laughs> on the other side, I'm like, oh. So you would be fine. You're just like, I just turned that part of my brain off again. And then just... <laughs> I feel like... I feel like... Uh, the other one that I've had with this is milk. This was actually the disturbing okay, milk, one. Milk is you don't actually, realize that it's soured yeah, until but, like... But milk is actually not... Like, we, at least in the U.S., we mm. are really overly sensitive about milk being, oh, it's expired the second it gets that day. And that's actually not really well, true. Like, it depends on what kind of milk you get. Some no, of it, it, it's like the expiration date is no, like no, no, I'm talking, and it's, you know. No, I'm talking obviously, like, you know, cow milk. There's, you know, mm-hmm. there's obviously slight variations with it. But, like, no, the, the, the obsession we have with expiration dates with a lot of food in the U.S. The does, not actually, in actual does not actually, rules. like, apply. Um, there are definitely some things where it's like, oh, no, no, no. For this, yes. But for, for a legal lot of reasons, things, expiration dates should be taken seriously. <laughs> no, that has nothing to do with it. No, no. I'm, I, go do your own fucking research. Look online. Milk is not, at least in the U.S., is not a you will get sick if you drink it past the expiration You'll get date. some courage points, you know. If you've ah, played Persona, you, you know how that, it works. That, that is it's true. definitely mm-hmm. accurate to real life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yes, uh, Ryusui's greed is helping keep um, a lot of things moving quickly. Yes. And Senku is definitely enjoying that his excitement levels don't need to be the ones at the highest. Oh, yeah, he can kind of just sit back and occasionally, like, be like, hey, again, dangle yeah. another thing in front of Put him. Put some cash in front of his nose. Yeah, there. yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, that's some good shit. Okay, we're going, we're going. I love that even the next episode little bit is in, like, money green kind of a look, mm-hmm. you know, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's uh, <laughs> use the baser instincts of the modern human citizen. The modern capitalist. Yeah, exactly, to move things forward. But, hey, these are all the steps that are needed just to get on the boat and not immediately die within, right. like, two and weeks. Right, and I appreciate that, right? It's, it's the something... sea is a very scary thing in just just the sea itself, but well, actually yes. traversing it. Well, and it, it feels like a different roadmap in a way, because we, we're is, not yeah. being given, like, a specific roadmap of, like, in order to invent something, we need to invent these other things. It's the, mm. we have a bunch of stuff at our disposal, but in order to actually do this thing... Right. There's a lot of other technical a things that need to be figured out, and ones. so yep. yeah, building the actual boat, we got that. That's you know, gonna take time, but that's gonna know. take time. But we don't need to have it be a like a focused conflict point because you we know that they can. It's do wood, it, right? It's carving, it's yeah. craftsmanship, and then we get the pitch. oil so that we have a proper you know means of like actually making it move reliably. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're not dependent the on the wind is, or whatever. Yeah, you know, the wind is being problematic. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You know, yeah. but. Yeah, yeah. I'm it. actually curious to know if no humans active, you know, as far as things go, does much to the currents of the ocean. You ever thought about that? I feel like it probably wouldn't do much. No, like, I think the ocean's think it, so huge. No, you, you'd be surprised when you have like billions of us doing shit and millions of boats, you know, like the the amount that it would do is not not zero. It would do something, and I'm I'm curious actually what part of the human race doing its thing affects the oceans. I feel from like the movement level. The yeah, most. I feel like I feel like the biggest way that it would affect things is if the temperature of the water mm-hmm. is affected as a result of things that humans do. Then that would change the way that the water moves. Yes, and that's why I'm saying, especially after thousands and thousands mm-hmm. of years, it would absolutely be different. Yes, uh, over the the long haul. Not yeah. just with the terrain being different because of a lack of humans changing right. things, but also I would say because of our activity um, mm-hmm. on the water. And I, I'm 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 mm. now wanting to Google search and see what that would be, unless 
I don't. And it's the anime is like, no, in episode seven, we're like literally going to bring that up, you know? Sure. Like, I could actually see that coming up. Yeah. But yeah. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full length timer reactions there. And all this comes with Discord access. So you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general. And also be sure to check out my Baldur's Gate 3 Let's Play on Twitch. And if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.